Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, uh, I want to thank my good friend from Southeast and Northeast Portland for beginning the conversation about World Refugee Day, and I'd like to add a few things about that. To begin with, um, I think World Refugee Day, especially given the context of what I talked about yesterday, is more important than ever. 17.2 million new refugees last year alone were generated because of the wars around the world. It is an opportunity for a nation to stand up for the values of charity, love, and mercy. Not merely for the refugees who now live in our community, though I believe we will be judged by history on how we demonstrate our values to these new neighbors, but for the opportunity to learn how to demonstrate charity, love, and mercy their arrival provides us. We live in a time of significant global upheaval and displacement. Refugees from political strife, poverty, and war are re redefining our world. This is not new. Refugees have often transformed the places and people they settle within. Like many here, my family a few generations back came from overseas as refugees, immigrants, people seeking a safe harbor. They came to live, to love, and practice their faith like so many others before them. My faith teaches me that one refugee and his family transformed the world for all time. After all, it could be argued, and reasonably so, that Joseph and Mary became refugees. They were uh, trying to find safe harbor for their infant son when a king didn't really want that to happen. Joseph and Mary recognized, as did all the people involved in helping Jesus be uh, raised, that sometimes laws, though imperfect, uh, have to be put in context. I believe we must be resol resolute and we must recognize the refugees in our communities, refugees in our time are important. And I wanna say this because as a teacher and former military officer, I'm proud of our refugee heritage and I try to talk about that in, our, in my class. I have folks from Ukraine, Central America, and some of you may remember I had an intern, Ms. Noor Ismail, who actually was from Iraq. Her, her dad was an interpreter for us. We are always better when we recognize the value of refugees to us, not because of their skills, not because of their perspective, those are, all, those are always helpful, but because it allows us an opportunity as human beings and a community to actually engage in a way we wouldn't have otherwise. We are here, all of us, the result of being a safe harbor, I would say the safe harbor for the world's refugees. We've done more for global peace by being a land of the free, home of the brave, than by being, and by being an open-armed, welcoming society than we could ever have done at the force of a gun. Today I ask us to remember our humanity, our tradition of faith, and try to be the kind of America that opens up our arms and enjoys and celebrates time. refugees. Thank you. Thank you, Representative.